if you've ever asked yourself, why is a short sale bad? Uh, then you come to the right place, although it's probably not going to be the answer you expect. Hi, I'm Don Thornton. I'm known as the short sale guy. I've been doing short sales for 20 years. I've helped well over 1,500 homeowners uh, get out of a situation where they owe more than the house is worth by doing a short sale. I doubt there's anybody in the country who's done them as long as I have and has done them success as successfully as I have. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why people think a short sale is bad, why the alternatives to a short sale are worse, and why actually a short sale is the best thing you can do if you owe more than what the property is worth and you, and you need to sell. So let's just jump right into this right now. I've heard a lot of reasons why people think a short sale is bad and they're never accurate. And frankly, it, it astonishes me how little information, how little facts that people have about what a short sale is. And so they jump to the wrong conclusions. A big one that I hear a lot is that, oh, I don't want to do a short sale because I'm going to have to pay what, uh, what's not paid off to the mortgage company. Not true. Uh, short sales, the short sale mortgage companies will always state in writing that um, you know any mortgage amount that is uh, written, that is not uh, covered in the uh, payoff of the more or in the the sale of the property will be written off and forgiven, and that's in writing. Okay. Uh, another one I hear is, "Oh, I'm going to get screwed," you know, and uh, I don't want to get screwed by a short sale. And actually, a short sale is one of the surest ways of doing something where it's not going to, they're not going to get screwed. And the reason why is because the bank will give you a short sale agreement letter before closing. And those agreement letters are good, but anywhere between 30 to 90 days. So you don't, um, you get the short sale agreement letter it has all the terms there. They can take that to an attorney and show it and make sure they're not going to get screwed. So actually, there's no there's no risk to a short sale at all from that point of view. Another one I hear is about, oh, well, you know, if if the mortgage company forgives $50,000 of my mortgage debt, the IRS is going to consider that ta a taxable event. I'm going to have to owe taxes on it. A um, couple of things. If it's a short, if, if your bankruptcy, excuse me, if your uh, mortgage was was. Um, included in a part of a bankruptcy, then that is not considered a, a taxable event. So that's one thing. Now, I am not a CPA. I'm not a licensed tax preparer or tax advisor. I cannot give tax advice. However, what I can do is I can share with you what my, my CPA has told me and my clients. And he has said that generally speaking, when you get hit, with, when you have such a loss uh, in your uh, fiscal year that you are for all intents and purposes insolvent for that year and then if your tax preparer can um you know declare that you were insolvent for most of that time in um or for most of that debt or, or mortgage forgiven or whatever anyway my fumbling around here a little bit but um it's you basically ask your tax preparer about insolvency and that generally solves the problem okay now if you uh, if this is enlightening you in some way, if it's resonating with you, if you if you're against it, you're for what I'm saying, please leave a comment down in the comment section. I love doing in, to engage with my uh, viewers. I'd like to have some tête-à-tête, -tête, you know, conversations and and uh, uh, let's talk about it because I'm passionate about short sales and I love to talk to people about it. So leave a comment. I'd love to I'd love to hear your opinion. So the next thing. Um, I want to show you is why the alternatives to a short sale are much worse. So you may or may not have seen some uh, videos I've done here on my YouTube channel about a deed in lieu of foreclosure, but a deed in lieu of foreclosure is, is worse because um, it's going to go down your, as a foreclosure on your record. And uh, you don't get any benefits whatsoever. It's the same from a credit point of view. There's no difference between if uh, a foreclosure going to auction or if uh, you do a deed in lieu of foreclosure. And what's worse is that people don't realize that until that mortgage is paid off one way or the other, partially or otherwise, it stays on your credit report as an open file, which is going to really hinder you from getting uh, or starting to repair your credit. So even if you, let's say you do a deed in lieu of foreclosure, or you let the property go back to foreclosure auction, and, and someone buys it there, or the bank buys it, either way, it's going to be put on the market uh, the bank's going to put on the market and they're going to put it at a high price because they want to try to get as much as they can or limit the damage to, to or limit their loss. So it could be a year, two years, three years. I've had people have it, you know, gave it, did a deed in lieu seven years later 
the property st it still hasn't been sold and that's still an open wound on their credit so you know my gosh you do not want to uh leave yourself in limbo for the, all that time that's why it's, you know it's um it's needless not good letting your property go to foreclosure auction is just foolishness okay um there's other, you know you can um that's what I'm saying. You can definitely do a short sale. It's much better than letting it go to auction. So that's just, just kills your credit. There's no reason why you should do that. Um, now, if you like what I'm doing, you like what I'm teaching you, you like what I'm explaining, if that is provides value for you, I would love it. Please, you know, go down and, uh, you know, subscribe. And that way you can get access to all my videos. You get notified when they hit and then uh, and do the notification button too. And that way you can get notified when a new video drops. You can uh, you know, jump in there and, and see what else, what other knowledge nuggets I've left for you. Finally, I want to talk to you about why short sales are the best. And the reason why they're the best is because you have less damage. You, you can qualify for a, more, uh, a conventional mortgage only two years after you uh, your short sale has closed and again it's closed out so there's no limbo there's no zombie land stuff on your credit and it's once it's closed out it's done and like i've said um you know the bank doesn't uh, the bank is uh, not going to um hold you liable for any mortgage amount forgiven it's going to be written off and you know you pay all your closing costs and if you're living in the property they generally speaking give you a seller's relocation anywhere between three to five thousand dollars sometimes more it just depends on on uh, the banks or whoever owns the mortgage what if it's a hedge fund if it's a pension fund if it's another bank they make those decisions about whether they give any re relocation amounts or not but generally speaking they do offer something and so what's better than that you get you get closure you get relocation money if you're there usually and you don't have the, and, and all your closing costs are paid and you can recover your credit in two years. So there's nothing better than a short sale if you owe more than what the property is worth and you have to sell. What I want you to do is I want you to go down into the description of the video uh, here. And I want, if you're a homeowner and you have questions about this, go to my link down there and leave me, a, you know, go in and fill out a form and it'll come to me and I, we, let's set up a time where we can talk. If you're an investor or if you're a real estate agent and you're interested in working with me in foreclosures and in short sales and you, and you don't know what to do with them if someone comes to you and says they need to have a, a short sale done, if you're an investor or as an agent, you know, you don't have to know or be an expert. You don't have to walk away from those things. I can help you monetize those types of leads and you can come to me and we can joint venture and you can make a lot of money at this as well. You can make money and you can be helping people, which is great. So Thank you very much for um, watching this video, and I look forward to uh, seeing you at my next one. Thank you.